y bienvenidos al Español 102. Today we're talking about los verbos con cambio radical en el pretérito, or conjugating stem-changing verbs in the preterite tense. As we continue on with our lessons on the preterite tense, the simple past tense in Spanish, we have talked about the preterite tense of regular verbs, of several irregular verbs, including a group of verbs that all have a, a stem, a change in the spelling of the stem, and then a common set of endings for each of those irregular verbs. Now today we're continuing on with stem changing verbs. As a review of stem changing verbs from the present tense, first of all, remember that conjugation is the process of changing the forms of the verb depending on the subject of the sentence. Regular verbs, when we're conjugating regular verbs, only the ending changes. For example, with the verb hablar, the stem is that H-A-B-L and the ending is A-R. We add, we add the regular AR present tense endings to the stem, H-A-B-L, to form the present tense conjugations. So if we conjugate hablar in the present tense, it would be hablo, hablas, habla, hablamos, hablais, hablan. With stem changing verbs, they may be AR, ER, or IR verbs. There are stem changing verbs of each of, in each of those groups. And they take the regular present tense endings so, for example, the AR endings, o, as, a, amos, ais, an, but there is a spelling change in the stem as well for all subjects except nosotros and vosotros. And there are several kinds of stem changes that we see in Spanish. There are verbs that have an E in the stem and it changes to IE for all forms except nosotros and vosotros. For example, pensar. If we conjugate pensar, it's yo pienso, tú piensas, El ella usted piensa, nosotros pensamos, no stem change there, vosotros pensáis, again no stem change, and ellos, ellas, ustedes piensan. Then we have verbs that have an E in the stem which changes to I. For example, pedir, pido, pides, pide, pedimos, pedís, and piden. And then we have verbs that have an O in the stem which changes to UE when it's conjugated. For example, almuerzo, almuerzas, almuerza, almorzamos, no stem change, almorzáis, no stem change, and almuerzan. So that's how stem changing verbs worked in the present tense when we learned those in Spanish 101. Now let's look at stem changing verbs in the preterite tense and how they work. For AR and ER stem changing verbs, any stem changing verbs that are also AR and or ER verbs, they end with AR or ER in the infinitive, like pensar and volver, have no stem change in the preterite tense. All IR stem changing verbs, like pedir, dormir, servir, etc., have a stem change in the preterite, but only in the third person forms. So if you look down here at these, it's only the third person forms, the el, ella, usted, and ellos, ellas, ustedes, that have a stem change. So only IR verbs and only in the third person. The way the stem changes work in the preterite is if it's an E to I or E to I E verb, it'll have the E will change to just an I in the third person preterite forms. An O to U E verb will have just a U in the stem of the third person preterite. So for example, the verb preferir in the present tense this E changes to I E in all forms but nosotros and vosotros, in the preterite tense that E just changes to I in the el, ello, usted, and ellos, ellas, ustedes in the conjugations. So the conjugations for preferir are preferí, preferiste, prefirió, preferimos, preferiste, sorry there's a typo there, and prefirieron. So you'll notice there's not a whole lot of difference in the pronunciation. It's hard to tell to distinguish between preferio with an E and prefirio with an I. So this is something that you will commonly see misspelled even by native Spanish speakers, but it is important to remember that IR stem changing verbs in the preterite do have that stem change, either E to I or O to U. Dormir, as another example, is dormí, dormiste, durmió, dormimos, dormisteis, and durmieron. 
So that those are the only stem changing verbs that you have to worry about in the preterite tense are only the IR verbs and it only affects the third person. So stem changing verbs in the preterite are actually much simpler than they are in the present tense because you're not having to remember you're not having to conjugate it in, in every different person and for AR, ER, and IR verbs. It's only for IR verbs. So keep practicing with these and pay attention when there is that spelling change in the stem for the third person of IR verbs.